Yo, what up? It's your boy O here, back here with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why men should stay single. And trust me, I just made a video a few weeks ago, right? And you guys were putting in the comments, oh, you lost your game. Oh, why are you being so negative? Oh, the RP got you. But no, realistically, men should stay single until they reach a certain point. I've coached and I met tons of guys in person. And one thing I will see is they enter a bad relationship and now they're scarred forever. But I wanna prepare you so you're not in that situation. But let's jump into this video. And what I'm gonna talk about in this video is why you should stay single until you reach a certain point. If you guys are new to the channel, I like giving guys dating advice, how you can become that overall attractive male that's confident and good in his dating life, who's dominating the dating world, who's a Casanova, who is that guy who has options. And if you guys want content like that, make sure to hit the like button so I know you like it and make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday and I try not to miss a day. And I want you to become the best version of yourself. The first point I'm gonna talk about in today's video, you need to to learn how to be by yourself. And bro, this is something that I struggled with a long time, especially as a guy who was a dating coach who was teaching guys how to get girls. I spent so much time in my life just having to going out, getting validation, thinking, oh, if I'm able to get a girl tonight, I feel better for myself. But the reality is, bro, realistically, until you learn to be by yourself, you'll never fully be attractive. Why do I say that? Because your power to be able to walk away from any single situation from a girl is more powerful than anything else. There's tons of videos on YouTube where guys say, if you ignore a girl, she will chase. And there's a certain level of reality to it, right? Because girls are so used to getting so much validation from guys, from dating apps, from Tinder, from cold approach, right? The moment a guy isn't scared to lose her, she's like, whoa, this guy is a little different. Who, who is he? Who is he? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not putting up with all my my, my bitchy attitude? You're not putting up with my, my me being mad and disrespectful? And when you stand your ground and able to walk away, that is extremely attractive. I remember back in Day, right? I was dating this one girl. I thought she was a dying piece. I thought she was fire. I thought she was just the most perfect girl for me. And so what ends up happening, she was mad disrespectful to me. She was talking to me crazy. She would never text me back. She would never follow up with me. She would flake on dates. Okay. And I would put up with it for a little bit because she's cute. So I gave her a little leverage. She was a, she was a, she was a don. Man, if I brought her on this channel, you guys would be like, whoa, oh, who's that? After a while, I just stopped answering her. I stopped putting up with her BS. I just left her away and walked away. Right. And what ends up happening, she was blowing up my phone blowing my phone, blowing my phone, just always texting me like, hey, if she asking me to meet up, right? And then eventually I realized like, hey, when you start putting everything over a woman and when you start validating her so much, when you stop chasing her, she eventually starts chasing. When you're able to be by yourself, this is the best feeling in the world because hey, you know you don't need no one and you can move in life by yourself. But I don't want you to always be in this stage, right? If you're a guy who's struggling with his dating life right now and wants to transform from a guy who's not getting too many options or a guy who's getting options here and there, but you want to start getting dates, you just want to start dating high quality woman, make sure to check the link in the description and make sure to sign up for my wholesome mentorship. So I'm going to work with you so you can start getting three to four dates today. But make sure to check that link in the description while spots are still open. On to my second point. Number two is you have to learn how to lead a woman. Until you learn how to lead a woman, you will never ever be successful in your dating life. So you should stay single until you start learning how to lead, lead a woman. I learned this very late on in my life. <laughs> Believe it or not, your boy O'Hare at one point in his life used to love old Older woman. And the thing about older women when they're dating younger guys, they always end up taking the lead. They always end up being like, oh, you gotta please me. Oh, you think you handle an older woman? Oh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. And I realized like after a while, they'll get enjoyment <laughs> out of being on top of me, right? But then when I do this to girls that are younger than me, I wouldn't get this necessarily the same result. They'll be like, um, so what do you wanna do? Oh, uh, so what? Tell me. They want you to take the lead. And I realized like, hey, if you're not able to take the lead, the girl will walk all over you and then eventually end up leaving you. And I'm not even saying that as like some toxic RP hurt type of flow. I'm just saying that as a guy, as a man, you should know how to take the lead. Hey, plan out the day. Hey, we're going here at this time, okay? You're walking with a girl. You're at a nightclub. Hey, hold her hand and move her to a different spot. Pull out the chair. Walk on the other side of the road. I had to learn this, right? Taking lead is very important because at the end of the day, it makes you look like an alpha male. If I make a video on how to become an alpha male, what ends up happening? It gets tons of clicks, tons of views. But the reality is, in order to become an alpha male, what is an alpha male? It's someone who takes the lead and you have to be able to learn how to take the lead. Don't be taking the back seat. And the way you're going to be able to take the lead is when you've had experience, when you've had failures, okay? And that goes on to my next point is you want to start dating multiple 
woman. Not just to become some player, some F-boy. You should date multiple women. So one, you know how it is dating other girls. So when you actually do settle down, when you actually get a rotation, whatever you want, you've dated multiple women and you know different personality traits. When you know the different personality traits, you know how, how the poom poom feels with different girls and you know how different girls respond to different things, right? If you just dated one girl for your whole life, bro, you really don't know how to treat her. You really don't know what other girls are out there. You really don't know what girls respond to. You really don't know conversation skills in general. All you know is from that one girl. And I'll tell you, women are not the same. Women are different. <laughs> I'll tell you that. And I've learned so many stuff from going out and approaching, okay? When you start dating multiple women too, it brings a sense of confidence. And also, I'm not gonna lie, it gets pretty hectic. I I'm gonna be honest with you, right? I stopped dating that much recently, right? I've just had a main piece and I've been chilling for the past couple months because I know how much of a headache dating multiple girls can be. But I did that for six, seven years and that taught me so many lessons. There's pros and cons to everything, but when you start dating multiple women, you start getting better at it. Number four is, hey, you want to develop a sense of confidence. Number one, no matter game, no matter looks, no matter how you talk, one thing that always triumphs as long as you have some confidence, as long as you're confident in yourself and it's not fake and it's real, all other barriers do not matter, okay? And it's, it's hard to teach confidence. I'll be honest, I teach it, right? But it's not easy because you need reference experience. If you're confident, you're fat and you're ugly and you go approach a model, there's a chance you could get her, right? You'd have a better off you making sure you look fresh. But as long as you're confident, there is a chance she might mess with you and eventually after a while, confident fat dude, if you approach a hundred miles, Models. Confidently, you might get at least 30 of them, flat out, <laughs> it's reality. But to get that level of confidence, you have to have a reason to be confident. When you start dating multiple women, you get a little sense of confidence, because okay, uh-huh, you start walking different, because now you know that you have the ability to get women whenever you want. Or number two, when you're by yourself, you have a certain level of confidence, because you're not scared to be by yourself. A lot of people end up getting into relationships just off the fact that they're scared to be by themselves. Or when you know how to lead a woman, when, you have, when you're a leader and you're controlling something, there's a certain level of confidence you, you get naturally, okay? And when you start being confident, it transforms your day in life. Believe it or not, I actually really used to struggle with confidence a lot when I was younger, honestly, man. The fact that I was a Nigerian guy and I was in American school, the most people in my school didn't look like me. So I was very unconfident about myself, honestly. I thought I was ugly. I didn't have facial hair. I didn't look smacks at all. One thing I realized too, most of the guys who were confident during that time period, they actually didn't really look much better than me. A lot of guys who were getting most of the women weren't actually the most attractive guy. They were actually just guys <laughs> Guys who didn't look that good, but they were always naturally confident. And over time, I developed this confidence through one, working on myself, getting mentors, growing out my facial hair, becoming as much as a pretty boy as possible, getting some earrings, getting some clothes, and then even talking and working on my game that all developed my confidence to become that person I am today. And all that right now transitioned and helped me today's life. So becoming confident, you're going to do that a lot when you're single. Because when you're with a woman, a lot of times your woman's not going to be like, oh, you look beautiful. Oh, you look this. That might help you with your confidence, but realistically, when you go out and you're able to meet another woman anytime, that really does help with your confidence a lot. And then next, you want to be able to work on your game. Your game does matter and that plays a lot into your confidence. When you have a conversation structure, when you're talking to women, that definitely helps you out, okay? And the only way you can really, really develop your game and your conversation skill is by going out and meeting new women. So one of my biggest three principles is like, hey, when you have conversation, you want to start off by making an observation about her. Oh, what's the observation? You see, she has nice, um, nice, uh, she, you see she has leggings, yoga pants. Oh, yoga pants. Oh, let me see. Okay, you're looking good. And then you want to make an assumption. Oh, don't tell me you're skipping leg day. So that's assumption. You assume she works out and you skip, assume she's skipping leg day. And then lastly, it's question. Oh, so what gym do you go to? And then once you start having those conversation structure, that's a three simple principle, right? When you start having that conversation structure, naturally over time, when you approach a different girl or you go on a different date or you date multiple women, you will see that, hey, girls respond better to this than, and they don't respond that well to this, okay? And I learned that so quickly, right? And that's why when you're staying single, it helps you out a lot. Then lastly is you want to find a woman who fits your program. That's the most important part, right? And if you honestly want to figure out how to start getting high quality women, track women to your life, like you for who you are, right? Go look at the link in the description and apply for my mentorship, okay? And what's going to end up happening, you're going to have a free consultation call and we're going to figure out how you can get from where you are right now to wherever your dream is, okay? But having a woman who fits into your program really helps 
a lot, okay? Because naturally, when you start dating a woman, she's gonna wanna get more and more and more of your time, right? And that's inevitable, right? You just have to be busy as possible. But what ends up happening, if you have a woman who wants more of your time, but it's helping your aspect of life wherever you are right now, it's gonna be so much easier for you. Let's say you're a business owner, right? She's helping you out and being the secretary for your business. That's so much easier. Or let's say you're a workout bro. You're working out all the time and she comes and lifts with you. Now you have a gym partner, accountability partner. That's so much easier. Or let's say you're a guy who's just a busy entrepreneur. She's cooking for you. Now you don't have to waste your money on going out and getting food. She's cooking for you at your home. That makes your life so much easier. And in today's society, I'm going to be honest, it's hard as hell to navigate through today's society <laughs> with all these women who are modern women who don't need no man, who are independent queens, right? See, finding that woman who actually wants to nuance a man, who needs a man, appreciate a man, it's not that difficult, but you have to have dodged some bullets real quick. You're going to have to shuffle the answer, something, right? That's one thing that I actually did struggle with a lot when I, during my, my day in life for a good amount of time, right? Even though I would be able to get a bunch of hot girls, I'd be able to pull girls from nightclub, I'd be able to, to date a bunch of women, right? What ends up happening, I was never able to find a woman who necessarily fit in my program. And one of the biggest factors for that was the fact that I didn't know what I want first and I wasn't qualifying women first, okay? So yo, those are all reasons why I think men should stay single until they find these quality traits. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, put in the comments, but yo guys, I freaking love you. But if you guys want more content like this, check out this video right here where I talk about why when you start ignoring her, she starts to secretly chase you inside, right? And I explain that in this whole video. So check out this video right here.